hey you guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna show you how i got this purple look <laughs> if you'd like to see how i did it stay tuned you miss me as i put it down right down babe i can put you on a bike you know that a nigga like me can change your life okay y'all welcome so we're gonna start off with this eyeshadow palette that i got from amazon i'm gonna put details of everything that i'm using in the description box so we're going for purple so i went to the purple slide here and i'm gonna start with this light purple i know it looks pink in the camera but trust me it is purple so I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I am going to pat it on my eyelid. I did speed up this video because to be honest, I just can't stand these 30 minute videos. So if you guys want me to slow it down, let me know in the comments. So yeah, I'm just patting this light purple onto my eyelid. Those of you who know me, y'all know I don't do this color stuff often I usually stick to what I know but I would like to step out of my comfort zone once again with you guys along with me I for some reason get courage to do this stuff only when I'm making a video so yeah I'm just patting my concealer because it was starting to crease a bit but I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna blend out um, that light purple I never really know where to start on my eyelid I just start wherever so I'm just putting more of the light purple on further down to cover more of the lid. I'm going to blend it out like so like that. So yeah, just blending. This is going to be a lot of blending, you guys. You're going to be blending for your freaking lives. I'm sure you've heard that before if you're into makeup. Uh, bright colors are really hard to blend you don't want any harsh lines those of you who don't know the purpose of blending it is to not have harsh makeup lines on your eyelids so next I'm gonna take a purple that's a little bit darker than the first one that I put on I'm gonna use like three or four different shades of purple for this look so I'm just gonna dab it on like that it is very pigmented i really like this palette um for the price that it was i think it was like 20 bucks and you get like all these colors so yeah i'm just blending it out it's like i'll put some on and then i'll blend it just so it, to try to make it easier to myself it's easier to blend it out like if i put some on then blend put some on then blend some more so that i don't put too much or too little in one area like spreading it out basically all right so I'm putting some more on and I'm gonna blend some more you will be blending for your lives you guys know this those of you who wear bright colors you gotta blend bright dark colors if that makes sense I don't know it's like it's bright but it's dark so yeah I'm just adding more of the light purple on top of that to kind of take up more space so that like it doesn't look like there's only purple in one area I'm just spreading it out and blending again okay that's enough girl okay <laughs> all right next I am really in a battle right now I have no idea I'm literally forgetting that I'm even recording right now and I am trying to decide between these two colors that I keep pointing at like you're gonna help me pick it or something I don't know but I decided on that one and I'm just gonna add it on like the outer corner the outer V of my eye like so you can kind of see like it shaping the outside of my eye and I decided to bring it in because I'm not sure why <laughs> honestly I am a beginner nobody believes me but I am a beginner so this is just what I thought would look best I know I initially thought I was gonna put it just in the outer V but I decided to take it all the way in not sure why don't ask me so I'm just blending that out 
with the same brush but I'm still gonna take my fluffy brush and blend it some more more blending not bad I think it looks okay and so now I am uh, attempting this cut crease thing and uh, I'm not good at it so <laughs> I decided to do that and I'm like oh yeah girl I saw somebody do that once but I never tried to do it I'm sure everybody who knows what they're doing probably does that but I will say for all the beginners that did make it a lot easier for me to um that made it easier for me like I, I think I just make make it harder on myself when I usually try to do it instead of just carving a straight line and then like filling it in so to speak so I'm like Ugh. <laughs> So yeah, I'm feeling myself. I'm like, okay. Mm. They're even too. Those of you who know me, that's a big deal. Cause I can never get it to be even. And so next I'm taking this NYX palette and I'm picking the lightest purple in the palette. Um, I, I don't like putting dark colors on my eyelid. Like, you know, like the, I mean, I know all of it is the eye, but like right in this area that I'm putting it, I never like to put dark colors in that part of my eye um, because I feel like it makes my eyes look smaller. So I'm always going for a light color. Even when I'm wearing my normal like brown eyeshadow, I always put some type of tan or some type of something light on this area here. And I'm liking it so far. And so next I'm just taking my Inglot gel black liner and just putting it on from this point I'm just pretty much finishing up my face and I thought I'd show you guys instead of just stopping like just on the eye part I'm gonna do my the rest of my face with you guys blending again <sighs> forever and ever my magnetic lashes my Inglot foundation, which is barely anything there. I love that foundation, by the way. It's Inglot. Get you some. And then I'm taking this eyeliner. I don't usually put stuff on my bottom um, eyeliner, but you know, I want to like decorate that too. So this has like a smudge brush thingy on the bottom of it. So I'm just smudging it out. Don't want to do too much. And I've recently gotten into putting mascara on my bottom lashes. Um, I'm getting a little bit better at it because normally it doesn't come out well. Okay, you guys. So this is my finished look. Um, it's very purple, right? So I just figured why not just go for it? You know, purple lips, purple everything. Um, a lot of this stuff, uh, these colors are practically new. Um, I'm not really into colors. I'm, I'm usually on the, the natural brown tip, you know, but I am trying to do something different and take you guys along the journey with me of trying new things. I think I'm getting a little better at the cut crease thing. Um, but I, even though it's purple, I still think it's real subtle. You know, don't hold your breath if you're waiting for me to like uh, get into like crazy I mean I would like to broaden my horizons but it'll probably be a while before I am like you know doing like white eyeliner lines on my eyelid you know y'all know what I'm talking about but yeah so I did go ahead and add like a little bit of light purple in the corner of my eyes and as you can see I put on this purple lipstick it's actually um I don't even know who this is or wh where it came from, but it was in my stash of lipsticks. Uh, I'm not sure if I should be using it. It's probably really old, but that's okay. So yeah, if there's any colors that you guys would like me to try, please let me know down below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.